woman has been taking orders from her boss, Bane, to deal with people and things that affect his business. Until the day Maya meets the assassin who killed her father, known as the Wanderer. This man is even more powerful than the Nightmare. In just a few rounds, Maya was knocked to the ground. But he didn't kill Maya directly, it took off his hood. He also used sign language to gesture that she's the same person as himself. If we're full of anger, we will become blind and be taken advantage of. It was your boss who wanted your father dead. Maya was a little shocked to hear the other side. Once she got home, she packed her bags and then drove to the pub where Bane frequented. Bane was relieved to see Maya at the door. But the next moment, he noticed the weapon in Maya's hand. He rushes to Maya and says, We're family. This time, Maya wasn't confused and didn't hesitate to raise the gun and pull the trigger. What she didn't realize was that the shot didn't kill the executioner and set the stage for retaliation against her and her people. Maya then drove her motorbike to Oklahoma, the home of the Indians in her home state. After a day and a night of traveling, Maya finally returned to the home where she grew up. Looking at the scene in the yard, Maya couldn't help but be a little moved. The key was still under the brick. After observing that no one was around, Maya opened the door and went in. Tired, she fell asleep. But in her dream, there were some strange looking people in strange clothes. Maya was awakened. It was already light outside. At that moment, a dark figure suddenly flashed past the window. Maya immediately pulled out her pistol, but when she opened the door, it was her cousin Jill. Jill was so excited to see Maya that he jumped on her with his arms outstretched. Since Maya left 18 years ago, it was the first time they had met. Maya also told her cousin not to tell anyone that she had been here. Cousin also indicated that he knew. Maya drove her motorbike through the gate and first came to a corner to see her cousin, who works in the police force. She then went to a roller skating rink and called out to the front desk guy, specifying that she wanted to meet the person in the photo, but was refused by the front desk guy. He said you can only meet him if you're here to skate. At that moment, the men she wanted to meet happened to pass by. It turned out to be Maya's Uncle Walker, who also owns the roller skating factory. And Maya had a purpose for looking for her uncle. She's eyeing Bane's cargo center in her hometown. Uncle Walker happens to be the person in charge here, so she wants to team up with him to win Bane's era and avenge her father's death. But her uncle refused. He doesn't want to bring trouble to his hometown because of this. At the same time, he suggests that Maya get a job and live a quiet life. Maya doesn't respond. She didn't want to force her uncle, but she didn't stop moving. She found her cousin and gave him a list of things she wanted him to buy for her. She then asked her cousin to drive her to a bridge in the darkness of the night. The woman paired her location information on her cousin's mobile phone, hung the locking hook in the gap of the stone bridge, and then jumped off the bridge in one leap. Cousin was shocked to see he saw that she had reached the bottom of the bridge and was about to jump onto the train. She almost fell during the descent, but luckily grabbed the rear of the train before she stopped. Although there was a little hiccup, Maya was able to climb up with her excellent physical strength. Moving quickly on top of the train, she soon found her target, a heavily guarded car. Then she leapt over it when the guards weren't looking. As she climbed up the side of the car, she accidentally made a noise. The guards came to check it out, but they didn't find anything wrong with it. Maya had already reached the bottom of the carriage. She used a drill to make a hole at the bottom of the carriage and stuck the pinhole camera in. After seeing that there was no one inside, she took out a cutting machine and started cutting the bottom of the carriage. At this moment, my cousin was still stepping on the accelerator in the direction of Maya's position. The next second Maya cut through the car and drilled her way in, coming straight to a box and opening it. Maya didn't take anything but returned to the bottom of the car, sealing the gap with glue on her way out, and then began to move towards the back end of the vehicle. The woman passes through a connection, but she slips and falls, and her prosthetic leg is stuck in the connection. Maya was unable to disengage her prosthetic leg even with all her might. At that moment, those strange people in strange clothes appeared in her mind again. In the next moment, her whole body was full of strength, and her hands even emitted a red light, and she easily got rid of the restraints. Maya took off her gloves and looked at the red light in her palm, not knowing what had happened, but now the most important thing was to get out of here. By now, her cousin had already arrived with his car. Maya hurriedly signaled her cousin to come closer, but it nervously pointed elsewhere. Soon the train will enter the tunnel. Seeing this situation, Maya hurriedly climbed up to a high place and then jumped down one second before the train entered the tunnel. She landed on her cousin's car. Cousin also immediately slammed on the brakes to change the direction of the car and steadily stopped in front of the tunnel. The two of them got out of the crisis without any danger. In the evening of the next day, the train delivered the goods to the designated place on time. The bald man ordered his men to open the boxes and check the goods, while he and another colleague walked out of the warehouse. But the next moment when he opened the crate, the bomb built into the cargo was switched on. The power of the bomb instantly blew up the warehouse. The two men at the door were also hit by the bomb's aftermath. 
The warehouse was blown to rubble. Bob had left the warehouse in advance and survived. It turns out that Maya didn't sneak into the train depot to steal anything. This is her real purpose. What will Maya do next? What dangers will she encounter? I'm Zero Sense Film. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.